an uh, ICT consultant at the same time. I am uh, actually based in Boya, but I work with Cameroon Link as the ICT officer for Cameroon Link. I am the coordinator of C4D in Cameroon. So I hope some of you received my invitations and mail and was asking them, who is it Mike? So this is me. <laughs> so thank you all once more for coming. All right. So you are all welcome. You see me, the first thing people talk about when they are coming here is our road. <laughs> <laughs> the road to our office is not very good and uh, luckily people who have come here have spoken about it and the government wants to tap the road that's why they are they, 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 are, they have started packing right from down there we hope that uh, next time when you come here you will find car on the road yeah, so we have received the Israeli ambassador here twice. We have received the Canadian ambassador here once. We are <coughs> the director of, uh, in charge of uh, development in some other ambassadors. So our work is working with grassroots. And C4D, which we are going to discuss today, is basically translating what we have been doing. Because when you are doing a project and the beneficiaries are at a distance, very little reaches them. Because as I explained, our offices were in Bonanjo and we decided to bring our offices here because we knew that those who are the beneficiaries, they are here in Bonanjo, they are not in Bonanjo. People, uh, the local people do not stay in Bonanjo, they are all, everybody in Bonanjo is an officer. So, uh, I want to say this C4D, when they sent me their first notice two years ago, I read it, I said, but this is something interesting. We are working with farmers, we are working with broadcasters. This can help me to connect with farmers and broadcasters who have uh, computer somewhere and have uh, an internet email because you will realize that most of the communication is by email and when it is urgent they call you by phone so I, I, I emailed Michael and I said look there is something I have discovered can you go in to it and see where it can help you. You are, you are going to come out very soon as uh, an agro engineer. Can you go in and try to see what you can get through the exchange? So the whole idea of c is to exchange information and make information and learning without barriers and even where there are barriers you see the world has become so modern that uh, with telephone you cannot stop somebody from calling you will use your telephone to reach the other person so uh, they used to be what they call censorship it's difficult to censor but what we are doing is for development so we believe that what we are exchanging and giving out is for development. And if you have it and give it to one person, the person gives it to another, the chain goes and goes and goes. 
They asked whether we could, I could do this. Michael to do it with the young man, he can be running around. I have so many things. <laughs> I have so many things in my hand. And uh, I'm happy he has been very active. He communicates instantaneously because in, four, in, in C4D, when they send you a mail, you have to reply promptly. That is when they know this is a good communicator. This is a good communicator. And once they have been noted as a good communicator, they will publish your program with the area of work that you are doing, they will put, put it in the profile because it doesn't have any barrier in in, in, in profession, you can be an agriculturist, you can be an engineer of aeroplanes and all what not. You join the C4D, you explain some of the problems you have, you will have somebody to answer some of those your problems. Because the, the whole idea is to solve problems and, and, and clear situations. So I hope that uh, uh, this meeting, this liberal meeting which we are having here, uh, would multiply itself so that we meet more regularly. So that if there are things that are happening, uh, we can exchange. <coughs> Our house, Cameroon is not an employment uh, house, but we have got so many people employed because when they go, they say, where have you worked with Cameroon? What proves that you, you know Cameroon? They remove the cards. So say yes, we know Cameroon. It's a very serious uh, NGO, civil society organization. So many people have got their jobs. Others are in Canada and Europe today. Others got their scholarships just because they, they, they came and did their internship here. So I hope that uh, this new area we are ending, we are going into, is going to be beneficial to all of us. Uh, I want to tell you that I'm the focal point for Farm Radio International. Um, happily, uh, C4D director discovered, discovered that and said that they too are partners to Farm Radio International. I've done projects for the common world as I told you. And, uh, I work with the government, I work with the Ministry of uh, Public Health. I have all the accreditation to do programs and uh, my area of interest has been mother and child because mothers are not taken care of the way they should be taken care of. <laughs> Once they give their baby, the, the father is happy. Instead of staying with the baby in the house, he goes drinking and celebrating. So we, we have changed those attitudes. The early pregnancies have been around too. So we have been able to solve those situations. And uh, breastfeeding is still a problem. There is only 20% of uh, children in, in Cameroon uh, breastfeed exclusively for six months. So we are modifying the, the minds of people to know that you can continue to breastfeed your child even when you are working. And so and it, the message has gone through in some places and uh, we are continuing in other places. Uh, as we go to follow the workshop and uh, we will develop an exchange on quite a number of things.
So once again, you are welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, uh, we are directly. We are going to move directly to item number two. That is uh, C4D proper. So you will uh, please let me uh, stand on my feet so that uh, uh, <coughs> we can all get connected. Well, there is a presentation which uh, I will be presenting to you. Of course, we have so many things in mind. Uh, what is C4D? So many people ask, what is C4D? Some say cats for dogs, some say a lot of things, care for dead, care for... I will say that, what is it? Is it that my own people do not know what C4D is all about? Then I really had to take these people and say, have you ever heard about communication for development? So, in, uh, in brief, what I would like to say is, we have to get connected 